Hello everyone, so I thought I'd just introduce this vlog for you as I didn't get a chance to film this morning but basically today I went to a kind of taster day for the London Interdisciplinary School which is a new university which will be starting in September 2020 so next year um, which meant people in my year so if you're currently in year 12 you would be the first intake year so yeah that's what I went to today it was basically a whole day to see you know what the university is like what they teach um, which is a bachelor of arts and science so it's not your kind of typical degree um it's called an interdisciplinary which means it's a whole mixture of different things and focuses a lot on things like research and work experience and things like that so that is where i went to today i would have filmed this morning um but i got the train at about 10 past 8 and there was no seat so I stood the whole hour and then by the time I got to Blackfriars there were no tubes so I had to try and find my way around the bus routes um, but we got there in the end and I made it to Whitechapel which is where the event was taking place so yeah I'm going to follow on now with all the clips from the day also just want to give a shout out to Shannon because it was so lovely to meet you um, fellow YouTuber I'll leave her channel down below and yeah I just thought here you go you can see the rest of my day. So much business I could start employing my friends out of the dog music factory, paid them to 25 an hour and charged them out to 50 an hour, so that's when I first became an evil capitalist as well. <laughs> Skills to work outside that scenario. Okay. And why, why do you think that's more significant today maybe than 20, 30 years ago? In developing world as well. What about shrimp wrapped cucumbers that you buy at the supermarket? They, they must be bad. That must be bad, isn't it? Plastic wrapping that. But actually, to make a cucumber. Okay, so I'm now back from the taste today. It was a really good day, actually. It was really interesting to kind of learn all about the university and kind of what to expect if I was to apply. Um, so I thought I'd just talk you through kind of what we did and if you are interested where you can find out more information and things like that so first thing we did um there was a welcome breakfast but i just missed that because of the whole tube bus situation and then after that we kind of had just a general talk just to kind of get an idea of who's involved in the university and the kind of background idea and then we had a talk from um, one of the founders of Innocent Smoothies. I'll put his name on the screen now as I don't want to get it wrong. And that was really interesting. He kind of talked about how, although he initially did a degree in geography, he ended up going on to set his own business up with his friends. And yeah, it was just really interesting to hear about that and the kind of different like skills you need in um, being an entrepreneur or running a business and things like that. We then had a short break, which was really nice. The building was really nice and so many different plants. It was very aesthetically pleasing. And then we got split off into different groups and we basically went and had a talk about plastic and whether or not we should still be using plastic bags. And I thought that was just really interesting. I think it's because, you know, I do geography, so kind of related a little bit to that. And yeah, we were in about groups of six or seven we kind of just brainstormed ideas, we kind of solved the problem, looked at what kind of bag would be the best to use for life really and yeah I found that whole kind of thing very interesting. It was very much like solving a problem as a team and kind of thinking of some big philosophical ideas. We then had lunch after that which was pretty cool, just a nice uh, half an hour break and then we went back into the main room and we had a talk from um, one of the students who had done an interview disciplinary degree but at, I think it was UCL and then we had a talk from the whole founder of the university and then that finished off with like a Q&A where people could ask obviously questions and anything they wanted to know about the university. This is what I meant in terms of the plastic bags. So we looked at um, five different bags, plastic, paper, biodegradable, bag for life and tote bags and we kind of looked at like their carbon footprint 
as you can see, we did quite a bit of maths here, figuring a few things out. Um, there was a big whiteboard, so that probably makes more sense. And then again, we kind of came to the conclusion that a bag for life is probably the most eco-friendly and environmentally friendly and things like that kind of bag that you should be using. And then just as we were leaving, we also got given a book as when you applied to go to the taste today, you had to write um, 200 words about a problem that society faces that you think is quite important. So I actually wrote mine about global warming and climate change. So I got given the book The Inhabitable Earth, um, which is all about the future by David Wallace Wells and... Yeah, they wrote a lovely message inside, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. really hope it kind of, like, extends my knowledge as a geographer, obviously. And, yeah, then I thought I'd just show you the little brochure um, that we were given. So, like I said, the first year would be in 2020. And, kind of, this just talks you through the university as a whole. Um, this was Carl, who we actually met, and he did a lot of talks and really just informed everyone about the university and then these are some of the um, businesses like I said we had a talk from one of the guys at Innocent Smoothies but again these are like the organizations and things like that they work with as you basically take up work placements whilst you're studying um, and then this talks about how you apply as you don't apply through UCAS you apply separately which means you can choose five universities on UCAS and then this is kind of like your sixth um, university anyway so if you want more information obviously do check out the website but this just talks you through how it kind of works and um, anything like that and obviously they're updating their website all the time with the curriculum and remember again this is just all their details so if you do want to follow them on like online or send an email anything like that then these are all the details i would just like to say a massive thank you to um the university for actually inviting me today it was a really really fun day and kind of really made me think about different options in the future and different universities that you can apply to you know you don't always have to go down a really traditional route when you go to university you've kind of got a lot of choice and a lot of freedom things like that and one of the things I really liked about the university itself is they don't just base your um, kind of application on your grades. So if you really messed up your exams or whatever, they also take into consideration things like your background, um, your education, upbringing, as well as kind of like your motivation and your personality and anything else that you've done. So if you're someone who's worried about your grades or you're looking for something that's kind of like an unconditional offer, I guess, then this might be a good thing for you to check out. I also want to say a massive thank you to Kristen and Plummer who I have talked with throughout this whole process who did organise this trip for me and my friend as well. Um, so thank you so much guys for inviting me and helping me out with all the travel and things like that. I really, really appreciate it. But if any of you do have any more questions about the university then do leave them in a comment down below or you can obviously go contact the university directly. They're really active on things like Twitter and Instagram and are super helpful with answering any questions and also do check out their websites that are updating that a lot um i believe that they've just launched um some more information this evening so you can do definitely check that out before um you need to apply for university really and yeah that is all i have to say for this vlog if you did enjoy it make sure to leave it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content like this then definitely subscribe down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye